Okay, we're back. Um, we're going to work on the letter S, and we'll just talk through and walk through the uh, the offset the offset command that we'll use to create that. We'll use offset and trim to do the whole letter. Um, if I look at the reference drawing for the stop sign, I know that the width of all my uh, lettering um, is seven millimeters. So I am going to use the offset tool and type in the seven millimeter value. And I'll start insetting from the edges of my box, wherever there's a portion of the letter. And it turns out we'll be insetting all of the um, sides of the box. Okay. Now there's one more offset we need. If we look at the stop sign drawing, we know we need an offset of 20 mil 28 millimeters from the top. So we'll do that now. Down to here. And then we need to do another offset. Again, the thickness of the lettering, seven millimeters up. So in amongst all of those lines, we can see that we've got an S buried in there. It's here, I'll follow the cursor. But there's a lot of lines to trim. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll use the trim tool. We'll hit enter to make everything a cutting edge. And now we'll clean up all the portions of line that we don't need. Let me get rid of that one here, here, this one. Go around and make the S. And there's the S. Uh, we need to obviously get rid of these portions of the bounding box we don't need. And this last little funny segment here, we can't trim it because there's nothing to trim. Basically, it's a line that comes from the top to the bottom of this bottom portion of the S. So we need to get out of the trim tool, select the line, and hit delete on the keyboard or we can use the pencil eraser to get rid of it. There's the S. We are ready to move on to the T, the O, and the P.